Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you how to make traditional carnitas. So in case you guys want to how to make this super easy and delicious recipe, just stay tuned and I'll show you how. Alrighty guys, so let's get started with our ingredients. So for this recipe we're going to need 8 pounds of pork shoulder, lard, 18 ounces of Mexican coke, 3 oranges, 2 onions, 2 head of garlics, and salt. So these are ingredients, now let's get started. Okay, so my meat is already cut into large chunks. So now we're just going to pat it dry and just make sure that your pieces are as even as possible so like that they cook evenly but once we have them ready we can get ready to begin cooking all right guys so we're going to begin by adding our lard to our castle we just want it to be about halfway filled with our lard okay so i added 10 pounds of lard now i'm just going to have it set on high heat and allow it to melt. Alrighty, and once our lard melts, we're going to allow it to get nice and hot. Okay, and once our lard is nice and hot, we're going to throw in our pork chunks and we're just going to allow them to get nice and brown. Alrighty guys, so after five minutes, this is what our carnitas should begin to look like. At this point, we're going to reduce the heat to low setting. Here we're going to add our onions, cut them in half. We're going to add our garlic, just mash them down. We're going to add the juice from our oranges. Make sure that you rinse them real good because we're also going to be adding the peel. And along with this, we're going to add our salt. I am I'm using four tablespoons. We're just going to dissolve it with one cup of water. So just mix it and add it in. Now just mix it all and allow it to cook for one hour and a half. Make sure that you're moving it constantly so they don't stick to the bottom of your pot. Alrighty guys, so it's been 10 minutes, so we're going to move it around. And you want to do this every 10 or 15 minutes. But now the slow cooking process begins. Alrighty guys, our carnitas have been cooking for 1 hour and 30 minutes. And this is what they look like. So now we're just going to finish it off by adding our Mexican Coke. And this is just going to give us that beautiful caramelized color. So just mix it and we're just going to allow it to continue cooking for another 30 minutes or until our meat is nice and tender. Alrighty guys, and after 30 minutes, our carnitas are done. And this is what they should look like. And of course, they should be nice and tender. So just check them and they should fall apart super easy. Alrighty guys, and just like that, we make the easiest and most traditional carnitas. Of course, they're perfect for everything, for gorditas, to make your tortas ahogadas, or just to enjoy them in a taco. We're going to keep it very simple. Grab, look at that. Oh, and it smells so good. But we're going to keep it very simple, just like that, with a little limon. And of course, our salsitas. And I just have my three must-have sauces for my tacos. Mi picosita, la verde. And just like that. So cheers and enjoy. Alrighty guys, and now for the best part, the taste test. Now let me tell you guys that I hope you give this recipe a try. It's seriously super easy. With only six ingredients, you make some of the best carnitas. Perfect for all of your favorite dishes. And of course, if you don't want to do it outside in a castle, you can always do it inside. I will leave the uh, recipe in the description box so you guys can check out that method. But I'm ready. So cheers and enjoy. Mm. Seriously, the best. They're so tender, so juicy, so flavorful. It's amazing. Mm. So good. Alrighty guys, and there you have it at home. Make some traditional carnitas. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Share with your friends and family. And if you recreate this recipe, please don't forget to tag me in any of my social medias. And if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button so you guys keep part of our family. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.